Hey everybody, Wandering Kid here. I haven't done KSP in a while and I wanted to introduce you to Valentina's Photobomber. Um, I've restarted my hard career and I wanted to show you one of my new toys. Now my objective has been to figure out how to fly by the moon with as low a tech as possible. My only upgrade is to the admin building for some extra contracts so far. I'm playing a hard career, mostly hard. I've got, I'm a... I can quick save and restart mostly so I can do play with the cameras and stuff like that because I hadn't played with camera tools before and I've seen some neat stuff with it. This craft is very aggressive on its launch profile and I figured you guys might enjoy the show. So let's get to it. So Valentina, you ready? All right, let's get it done. So we're lifting off on a BACC thruster first, and because these things are so unstable, at about 20 meters per second, I'm going to give it a small nudge towards 90 degrees, just a degree or three, just so it doesn't go wildly off course on me, so I don't end up trying to fight Delta V back into place. And now we're just going to let it sit until the BACC burns out. Meanwhile, we're going to up our throttle here to about 90 percent, and I'll be back on that off as we go up on the uh, P-45 that's hiding in our next stage. And the reason for that is, is there's no reason to over, uh, over thrust through the atmosphere while I'm still climbing. This is going to be a pretty aggressive launch pattern. I'm going to have a very aggressive curve up high. And we're going to start really chewing into it here. Uh, right now. As I'm passing 7K is when I really want to start making sure I've got my turn going. And we're gonna just keep bringing that down here. So we're kind of hitting the noob turn point at about 10k, bringing it across 45. But we're gonna keep pushing this down pretty hard as we go. By about 15k, I want to be at about 40 degrees, and we're gonna hang on to that for a second until about 20k. As we pass 20k here, there goes our. Th we're gonna hit 30 degrees, and our objective is at about 35k. We want to be almost flat. So we're going to catch some heat here, and that's going to be expected, and I'm overthrottled right now. I may have wasted a little Delta V there, but that's okay. So coming across 30k here, I'm going to start trying to force it down a bit more. Okay, we've lost our LV-245, uh, and we're down to our LV-909, and I'm going to wait until I get up past about uh, 35k to engage this. Bring that the full throttle, and here we go. So at this point, we're just going to be gaining horizontal speed. We're going to be aiming for a um, 75k, roughly, apoapsis. So our apoapsis at 75k, we've gotten most of our orbit ready to go. We'll lose a little bit of that due to friction. We're still a little low in the atmo. But I found this to be the best pattern for this particular craft. So I'll get this uh, circularized up and I'll show you the next stage. So we've managed to circularize. Now we're just gonna wait for moonrise. Gonna wait for it to pop up just out there. Well, with moonrise now occurring, we're gonna aim ourselves pro grade. Gonna go into a full burn. And what I'm gonna aim for is an apoapsis of about 14 mil. What we're going to do is, I'm going to attempt for a free return trajectory. And by staying low, we're going to abuse the overth effect as much as possible. A lot of my earlier ships was, would come just shy of the delta V I needed for the return trajectory. I get up to 6.6, 7.5. Hang on, let me monitor this so I don't overshoot it. Eh, that should work out. But I get up to 6.6 .6 mil, 7.3 mil. Um, just the... Not having the LV-909 as a third stage for the booster was a tremendous amount of Delta V loss. So it just became problematic. So at this point, we're going to wait for a moon intercept. And there we have it. We're intercepting at about 1.1. We've got our fly by the moon. 
Oops. And initiated our first flyby of the moon and escaped uh, the influ gravitational influence of Kerbin. Now, if I've done this right, we shall have our uh, return trajectory on our way out. In the meanwhile, something photogenic. Now, as I exit Moon's uh, SOI, you'll notice that my current trajectory is going to crash me into Kerbin. Now, I can adjust this for a little uh, arrow breaking if I want. I've got a little Delta V left. I think I will. There we go. I'll bring myself in at about 37. And we will see the end of our... Um, hmm. Words. Words are failing me. We shall see the end of our uh, low-tech flyby, and then I'll walk you through the ship was built. I just have to be careful with zoom rates here, because last time I crashed right into Kerbin. And we have re-entered atmosphere at Kerbin. Uh, let's see. Um, actually, this may not be a bad, uh, not a horrible landing trajectory at all. However, we need to get rid of our last component. Thank you. We've got a heat shield here that we're going to want to uh, abuse because we're coming in fast. Well, as usual for low-tech planned missions, our first aero break didn't go quite as planned. We will be ejecting from the atmosphere again and coming around for another attempt. We did bleed off enough speed to get down to a 1.3 million apoapsis. We lost a lot of our orbital speed. We bled off a good chunk of it, but not enough of it. I believe on our next pass, we should be good to go. I'll bring you back for that. So here we are. We're beginning our second aero brake pass. Our periapsis is still 36.2. I have no controls on the ship anymore because I got rid of them, assuming they would blow up due to the uh, friction. This, well, that was a lot of speed, and I expected to actually, you know, land. So here we go again! So as we've been cruising around, this is still our second aero break. I wanted to show you how much of the ablator we've chewed off the heat shield at this point. We should be getting in underneath orbital speed here shortly. Right now we're at 2390 meters per second. Our apoapsis is at 90k, but I'm pretty sure we'll bleed that off. We're going to land somewhere on this pass. I just figured you'd be interested in seeing just how much heat shield I burned off uh, doing a moon orbital entry without using any kind of slowdowns from engines. Yep, Apoapsis is now under, uh, going under 60,000. We are landing on this pass. Where is a good question. I might make it over here to the desert. I'm not sure. Valentina, happy as a lark, would like to inform you that we are on our final descent. We'll be landing somewhere dark. Thankfully, I don't care. Thank you, Ambient Light Fools. You are helpful. So it looks like we'll be aimed for the desert somewhere. Probably end up landing around here, maybe. So it looks like we're done burning off our ablative. We lost almost two, th more than two thirds of it, close to uh, three quarters of our shield. Wee, that's a way to get rid of it. Welcome home, Valentina. Well deserved. Well deserved. So we recovered some signs for a flyby of the moon, EVA report, uh, because I landed in the desert while I was hanging on the ladder, um, and a crew report in space. I landed way away from the KSC. I didn't recover a lot from the vessel. So, and even then I didn't have a lot left. 
Valentina has gained 3 XP. So let me show you the ship and the science. Here's my R&D tree right now. This was necessary. I needed the uh, carrier engine. This was the big deal. Uh, you can get away with 200 instead of the 400 tanks I used, but the LV-909 is pretty much non-negotiable as far as I could tell. But other than that, I don't have a lot of science open yet. The ship itself, as you can see, is a giant noodle rocket. Uh, you can see the Delta V, Space Delta V anyway. Um, the back adds in 867. The swivel, the T-45, brings us 1583. Remember, that's space. I'll show you what the difference is here in a minute. And then in theory, we have 2308 on the 909. But if we bring this to an Atmos setting, this becomes a whole different set of numbers. Uh, you almost kind of have to ignore what the 909 has. But these are your two big ones. We're really only going to get about 2,000 Delta V in atmosphere. Um, between the uh, thumper, the back, and the T-45. The T-30 would give us better Delta V in Atmo. It is a little heavier, but we'd get better Delta V. The problem is it's controlling the craft, and the aggressive turn you have to do is almost impossible to make. This back is actually thrust limited a little. Um, I did that so that I had a better climb profile with it. The swivel is not, obviously. There's not much on this ship. It is a parachute, an antenna, a heat shield, some stacked couplers, a 909 attached to a 400, a T45 attached to two 400s, and the BACC. Its stats come in just inside range of tonnage, 17.9 tons, 16 parts. It's 18 meters tall. Um, it says you need electric charge, as you could tell. I didn't. But that will get you your moon flyby. Hopefully you all have enjoyed this. Um, I'm happy to be getting back in a KSP. I'll be doing these off and on. And I will see you for the next one.